Hey viewers, I have been battling with this stem that's frozen in this fork here for a bit now. I've tried multiple different ways of getting it out, uh, alternating heat and cold, uh, penetrating oils, hammering, twisting. I even started to saw from the inside out here, uh, trying to loosen it up, and it is just still frozen in there. So what I decided to do is I'm going to use uh, lye or sodium hydroxide to try to uh, dissolve it out of there. Now sodium hydroxide or lye will eat aluminum but it won't harm steel. So um, I'm doing it outside because one it can be a little bit messy but two uh, as the sodium hydroxide eats the aluminum it gives off hydrogen gas and so I'm doing it in a well ventilated area and you also want to be cautious if you're going to do this is to keep away from open flame. Now the chemicals are pretty harsh and so I'm going to be using uh, safety equipment here. I've got some goggles. I've got uh, gloves, rubber gloves here to protect myself. Um, I've got a bucket of uh, clear water over here so in case something happens I can you know like rinse off or do whatever. And what I've done is I've cut um, a, a board here with a one inch hole in it so I can put the fork through and that'll hold the uh, fork with the steerer down in, in the, the uh, liquid and uh, kind of protect the fork from the stuff splashing up here if it does. Um, I bought like a cheap glass vase at a thrift store, cost a couple bucks here. And so I got the uh, crystals here, stuff called Zep Crystal Heat Drain Opener. Um, now most drain openers will contain um, sodium hydroxide or lye. Now this is a crystal stuff. I don't know exactly how much I'm supposed to use. Um, in a drain it says use like one heaping uh, tea tablespoon, but I'm going to be, and then putting like a cup of water in there, but I'm going to be using a little bit more water in there. So I'm just going to kind of fill, fill it out, kind of dump a little bit in there. And I can always add more. And I've got water here, so I'm going to pour in some water here. And I can add a little bit more water here to find out how it feels, uh, fits. So th the uh, stem in the steerer comes to around there. So I want it to kind of go uh, be submerged up to about that point or, but this stuff, some of the stuff will like bubble up as it's uh, doing aluminum. So I may actually have a little bit down below there, but I'm gonna set this in there and we'll see how it goes. Well, something seems to be happening in there. It seems to be bubbling around where the stem is and there's stuff kind of like bubbling around in there and I think that might be like aluminum shavings from when I was like hacking at it. Uh, so the stuff seems to be doing something in there. Okay, it's been working here. The uh, aluminum is starting to turn kind of like a dark gray or black. So it's definitely working in there. It's still kind of bubbling. It's slowed down a little bit. So I added a little bit more crystals in there, so I'm gonna like let it sit and, and do some more work. Well, I had to go to bed, so I left this thing soaking overnight. And, uh, oh yeah, it's definitely, so you can see it's definitely eaten a lot of the aluminum there. And uh, let's see if I can pull it out of there now. And it just kind of broke off all this stuff that was still kind of hanging out of there. Well, the stuff's much thinner, but it's still kind of stuck in there. I probably could have completely dissolved it if I used higher concentrations of the drain cleaner to start with. But I wasn't really that much of a hurry. I just kind of wanted to, I was hoping to just get it thin enough that I could pull it out of there. But uh, it looks like I'm going to just have to completely dissolve it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the drain cleaner put it back in and uh, I'll check it when I get home from work. Okay, let's check this out here and rinse it off here a little bit. Looks like there's still a little bit left down in there but not a whole lot. I wonder if I can like tap it out from uh, the other side even with the wedge in there.
Nope, it's still not coming out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in there with a bunch more of the lye crystals and see if I can dissolve the rest of that stuff out of there. Okay, there's just a little bit more left inside the steerer there. It's a thin layer, but it's it's bonded to the inside of the uh, steerer there. Uh, there was no way I was going to be able to get that stem out of there. So I tried to scrape it out, but it is not coming. Um, so I have no choice but to continue uh, dissolving the rest of this until it's gone. Okay, so let's rinse this off and take a look at it and see what it looks like. And I can see all the aluminum, the remains of the stem, is finally gone out of there. Uh, you can look down there, see it's all gone. I'll have to go through and clean it up a little bit with maybe a scrub brush or something. But it dissolved it out of there. Uh, that stem was completely seized to the inside of the stair. There was no way that this was coming out uh, probably any other way. Because uh, it was just bonded in there. And uh, it was slow, uh, but I think it could have gone much faster. One, if I'd gone through with a drill and maybe drilled out as much of the stem as I could. Uh, gone, just drilled straight down the middle of it. with The, the largest drill bit I have right now is a half inch drill bit. I could, but it would take a lot uh, more material out and there would have been less to dissolve. Uh, another thing I could have done, you know, if I get some maybe larger drill bits and drill even more of it out there. I could have also used larger concentrations of the drain cleaner. I was not sure exactly how much to use and so I was being conservative um, but I would have used much larger concentrations of that. It would have gone much faster. Uh, but it worked, and now I can go ahead and reuse this fork. Um, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button because you get to see new videos that come out, and I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there, pictures and other stuff that I'm working on. I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, subscribe to that page. I have my videos categorized. I have some forums where you can ask repair questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.